So one of the, the muscles that can create quite a lot of, especially head pain or headaches and around the eye and everything, I'll show you the referral pattern in a second, but uh, the, is the sternocleidomastoid. And it's quite a large muscle, quite involved in moving the head and the neck. It, um, its origin, uh, the tendency to talk about its origin is to work sort of careful to cordad, but in, in this case they're saying the origin is uh, from the two sort of heads. One's the manual brim of the sternum, that's the bone in the middle of the, of, of the ribs at the front, and the other part is from the, the clavicle. And that's what it's called sterno, clido for clavicle, mastoid because it passes up and attaches to the mastoid process of the skull. And basi basically his action is to rotate the head to the opposite direction. So if we get the model to just turn his head to the left, you can already see the sternal portion coming in. And if I just get your fled, your, you to flex your neck a little bit towards me, you can then, at the same time, you can then start to see the muscle coming in here, and that's the, the portion of the, the clido portion and the clavicular portion of it. So it works as a, a lateral flexor or ipsilateral side flexor, but it rotates the, uh, the head to the opposite side. Obviously, if you've got both of them working at the same time, if you just bend your head forward, um, you actually can see it bulge a little bit here and here. Uh, it will flex the cervical spine. So basically, its test is usually done in supine, and you just get the, the patient to, to flex their neck and rotate their head and laterally flex it so the, the ipsilateral side rotate it to the opposite side and you can see it really bulging out but it's one of these very very ob obvious fibers um, it has uh, muscles and when you want to, to uh, treat it you would can do it with a pincer grip with your fingers or, or needling it again with a fing uh, 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 your fingers doing a pincer sort of grip on it now the sternal head is going to sort of refer pain across the top of the eye and down the sort of side of the head, the back of the head, possibly even around under the chin. Whereas the clavicular head possibly will do referred pain around the base of the skull, again in a spot above the top of the eye, possibly even on the other side. So those are two areas of, of uh, referred pain which will give you an indication that you might want to be treating sternocleidomastoid. Sternocleidomastoid, because of the structures and the neurovascular bundles around the area, I, I tend to do with my fingers um, and, and just um, um, do a sort of pincer grip type of treatment. If, again, if we get the patient to just turn his head to the side, you can see the sternal head here. And I'll just get you to turn your head to the side a little bit. You can see quite a large mus uh, a muscle there. You can often just find it and, and treat it by a pincer grip. The carotid artery is running sort of medial between the trachea and the, um, uh, the medial border of the sternocleidomastoid itself. So one needs to be careful. When you're lo trying to locate the pulse, very gently place your fingers to locate the pulse. Because if you push too hard, you'll, you'll close off the carotid artery. Again find the actual muscle itself and then you're going to insert the needle um, usually from medial to lateral direction so we've got the muscle here we will clean it it's going to be one of these smaller uh, needles again a, a 30 millimeter try and do it as superficially as possible just come up grip the muscle you've located the muscle in the trigger point and a quick tap, remove the delivery tube and gently take the needle into the muscle and I tend to just leave it. This one I don't go fishing around or pistoning too much, I'm just very gentle and again take the swab and remove the needle holding it be careful with this muscle because sometimes you can as you're gripping it and you might feel it's just the muscle and I'm nowhere near the, 
the artery and I place the needle in, uh, I can actually come out to the other side of the muscles. That's why I'm very, very gentle with this. Uh, my chosen treatment for this would rather be um, needling, uh, rather than needling would be using my a pincer grip to try and move it or some sort of massage, but we can needle it and that's the way that you do it with great care.